This one's called Reverse Cow. What? What? Another one. This one's called Reverse Cowgirl. How is that so difficult to say? Another this one. This one's called Reverse Cowgirl. Yeehaw! <coughs> that was kinda. You stupid. It's kinda bent. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, nice one, Clyde. Clyde! Clyde! Clyde, get up here! Hurry! Dude, what the hell? And where is the toilet seat? Oh. <laughs> because you left it up! Again! We've been through this countless times, Clyde! Okay, Bob, just oh. stand in front of my friends, okay? No, not okay, because you are getting the message! What if I had fallen in? Start listening to me! Put it down! Put it down! Thank you! Sorry to pause this so quickly, but I remember seeing a TikTok and someone mentioned that to make it fair, in fact, men putting the toilet seat up and then putting it down takes two turns, right? As opposed to if a lady was then to come after or whoever our partner is or whoever was using the toilet seat after, right, was to come and then just put it down after we put it up, then that's one each. Because you see, we put it up, you leave it there, but then she comes and then she puts it down. That's one, one. But if I have to put it up and then put it down, that's two. And then you have zero. So it's actually fair. <laughs> I know it's stupid, but listen, it does take two seconds to just put it back down after you use it. You know, I'm, just, I'm just saying that, that there was a TikTok and I just wanted to mention it. All right, let's keep going. Is your mom always like that, dude? Oh. Look, could you guys just not say anything about this at school, please? Of course, man. It's cute. No, he's going to say something. It's... it's it's Cartman. Clyde, Clyde! What if I told you about pissing on the seat? And Clyde's all like, ah, okay, man, fuck, not in front of my fridge. <laughs> Bruv, is it your mom a corn star, dude? I know, right? Women are just <laughs> you know jealous because they have to Cartman. face outwards to pee and crap. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're supposed to poop in a toilet facing out? <laughs> but I thought you sit on the toilet this way. So you have that nice little shelf for your comic book and your chocolate milk? <laughs> you got the flusher right here. No? Some people oh, do that, I'm sure. Amazing. I'm pretty oh, sure some people do that, dude. There you are! She came Mom, to school, Clyde G. Donovan, you come home this instant! Mom, I'm in class. How many times do I have to tell you, Clyde? I was trying to get ready for work and the toilet seat was up again! Oh. Betsy, come back home. It's just not that big a deal. No, Roger, it's a disgusting habit and I'm sick and tired of it. If I had sat down, I would have gotten toilet water all over my vagina. My grandma's from Virginia. <laughs> Shut up, buddy. You are coming home right now, Clyde, and you are putting the toilet seat down where it belongs. Let's go. Ah, <sighs> dude. Dude, I'm telling you, it was freaking hysterical. Clyde had to get up in the middle of class and follow his mom home to put the toilet seat down. It's not that funny. I know, dude. The bathroom's the last bathroom. I'm surprised they're even on the phone together, bro. Don't you feel just a little bad for Clyde? Uh-uh. Well, you should. The poor guy shouldn't be screamed at for something that just isn't that big a deal at all. They're saying Clyde left the toilet seat up again. Uh, uh, Fam, what the fuck, dude? You're gonna be fine, okay? Uh, Stay with me now. What? When she fell into the toilet, she also made it flush. It created a suction that's literally pulling out her insides. Oh. Can we disconnect the toilet from the plumbing? Yes, we'll have to, but change in pressure will rip out her organs. But she's not gonna die, is she? Why'd you leave the toilet seat up, son? Clyde! Bro, Clyde. this goes serious real quick. Clyde, I want you to know I don't blame you for this. We should have been harder on you all those times you left the toilet seat up. Bob, I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't blame him, bro. You're almost dead. A lot of t time, Clyde. Please, oh God, please let me go. Let me go. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, dude, I'm glad it wasn't as graphic. Bob, she always Bruh. treated people with dignity and respect. What a tragedy she had to leave us so soon. You guys are assholes. I'm sure Betsy as is if. her death will help women everywhere. Bullet. Just take that extra second to look before they sit on a toilet. I was... Uh. I'd like to say, it's a man's responsibility to put it down. It's not that hard. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. They're right. They're right. It isn't that hard. Putting the toilet seat down isn't that hard. So is it too much to ask women to just look and put it down before that's they also true. their butts blindly to the toilet bowl? That's also God, very people, true. This man. is a funeral. Please have some respect. <laughs> There's a little boy here who has lost his mother. 
He'll never see her. He's also right. Because Damn. He couldn't take that six tenths of a second to put the toilet seat down when he was done peeing. Obviously, both sides can can just put the seat down and put it up, right? But she should have just she should have literally just looked, bro. Just look, look at the toilet seat before you sit on it, bro. She would still be alive, you know. Clyde could have. I mean, he should have put the toilet seat down and she'd still be alive. But she also should have just looked. Right. There's no excuses for there's nothing. There's nothing anyone can say. There's, there's nothing. There's nothing. It's either both are right or both are wrong. Right, you know? Because like they said, you could just put it down. You can just put it back up, right? You can both do that. So no one's really right and no one really is wrong. You know what I mean? In this context, look, look, a life is obviously worth a lot more. So Clyde will be considered wrong uh, in that scenario because she's dead. You know, but yeah. Hello, Mom, get the door! Oh Jesus, Black's coming. Hello, ma'am. We're the Toilet Safety Administration. The what? <laughs> the After TSA. The tragedy. New safety regulations require us to check every toilet for security. Can we come in? Uh, sure. Hey, hey, that's my bathroom. Oh yeah, we're we're gonna have to completely redo this, ma'am. Why? Ooh. But we'll go ahead and install your safety belt. Safety belt? See? Federal law requires all toilets to be fitted with a safety harness so that nobody can fall in. Dude, you can't make me wear a seatbelt to take a dump. <laughs> this is for your safety. A woman died, you know. True. Yeah, but the blood's on Clyde's wiener, not mine. How's he even on his wall? Oh, because he was peeing on that. Yeah. Sir, we are really worried about our friend Clyde. So we were just wondering if we could sue somebody. You can always sue somebody. Maybe right. the toilet manufacturers? Okay, we want to help him sue whoever invented the toilet. You got it. Ever Sir John Harrington. He's dead, Kelston, England, died 1692. Oh, he's dead? So then we can't <laughs> sue him? Why not? You can always sue somebody. We would have to perform a suance. A suance? A a a a a With a suing link down to his family in tree. In Turk, we specialize in suing the dead. If you hire us, <laughs> we'll work hard for you. Wow, really? You hear that? <laughs> you guys are trying to sue the dead. Now look. And they're smiling like that. I warn you, boys. A suance can be very expensive. <laughs> can be expensive. How expensive? How much do you have? Clyde got $3,000 from his mom's life insurance. Whoa. That's exactly how much. A oh, no. She just said like 200 pounds. Yeah, I already knew you were shady, bro. You didn't need to look to the side like. <sighs> But you see, but on, bruh. Oh. I get the impression he's gonna get jumped by like federal officers or something. Yeah. Look, I could I could already see that one coming, bro. Because <laughs> of cars, isn't it? If you don't have a seatbelt in your car, they're gonna come, hey, sir. Hey, officer. You're sitting on the toilet. You need to be wearing your safety belt, sir. Yeah, no, I, I had it on. I just took it off for a second to get the uh to get to the uh, dress here. I should have good intuition for this show, I've noticed. Oh, come on. Don't give me a ticket. Gotta wear the safety belt. You got a ticket? You can pay this by mail or appear in court. Have a good day, sir. Yeah, thanks. How much? Asshole. You say something? No, I was talking to my asshole. C come on, asshole. Let's get back to work. <laughs> How are you allowed to just sneak up and just look at someone like that while they're on the shitter, bro? You can't even take a crap at IHOP without a 40-minute line. Shoes off, belts off, sharp objects go in the plastic tray. This is inhumane. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Taking a dump today, ma'am? Uh, no, just need to pee. I uh, just needs to check inside your asshole. Oh. Hey, how about you people speed it up in here? All right, do you mind if I touch your balls, sir? What? Yes, I mind. Do you mind if I touch your fucking balls? <laughs> okay, I'm done. All right, sir, I just needs to check inside your asshole. I don't need oh, you wiping my ass for me. I'm a grown man. Yeah, I'm a big boy. That's a big boy. Why she go cake like that, I'm though, bro? Boy. Like, why go on? I took a big boy poop. Yes. All right, boys. Sit down. Because she's melanin. The melanin do be, be having cake. Doors and windows are locked. <laughs> you boys have your 500 in cash ready. John Harrington. My client is due compensation for negligence. <laughs> Whoa. Is he trolling Bart, them? Jimmy Barnes, what's it to you? Who are you, mugs? That's how people He's trolling them. Past. I need a little something something to jar my memory. 
We gotta grease him. Put a hundred in the box. Bastard. Give him another. Sounds like wise guy Italian. Uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, I've seen him around. All right. He was just down that way, bragging about some porcelain machine and what have you. <laughs> no! no. I'm walking here. By the power of Christ, we sue you. By the power of Christ, we sue you. <laughs> you can sue me. I will say they've got an impressive setup, bro. Put the other three hundred in the box. I can be impressive if you don't know what's going on. This was good. Well, we'll get him tomorrow. So that's it? Yeah, we're gonna need about 400 more dollars tomorrow. Bro, you gotta be some soulless beast to do that to, to, do that to kids. Great soulless, bro. Put your coffee in the in your house. Please start. Shows off, belts off. Nah, he's yeah, used to yeah. it. Then you can. Hey, what's that thing? <laughs> that's a camera. It's a security camera. Oh, you people have me on camera now? It's okay, sir. There's just one person viewing the monitors in a discreet location. Is it a... <laughs> oh. Exactly how long are we going to sit around as our freedoms are stripped away one by one? We want the government out of our bathroom. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, jeez. All we have to do is agree as a That's community messed up, bro. to all bolt our toilet seats down. No, no. Hold on. If the seat can't raise up, then that will just pee all over it. No, we won't. Yeah, you Rolling, will. Probably, mate. Well, sorry women might have to deal with a little splash of pee on the rim, but it's a far better solution than having the government in our bathrooms, right? Bro, that pisses me off as well. Listen, that? hey, that actually is annoying as hell, bro. Like, I don't, I don't get that. Like, I, I have housemates, right? And even sometimes someone would just leave pee on the toilet. Seat. I'm like, are you fucking stupid, bro? Like, does it not take a second to just look, you know? Get a piece of toilet paper and just wipe the shit and then get on with the business. I don't get it, bro. Like, I, pe I, think, I think I've come to realize some people are just kind of slow, you know, and I don't really hold it against them. I just, it's just how it is. You know, there's some people who have competence in certain areas and some who don't in other areas. So I'm just like, you know what? You are who you are, right? It is what it's annoying. If you do that, you know, just fix up. Mate, you know, can't really tell you what to do, but if you do, do it. Get it together, bro, because yo, <clears throat> I've seen relationships end because of stuff like that. Because <laughs> of a dude having the shitty hygiene, bro, you know? Listen, I'm saving you from your future wife not divorcing you because you keep pissing on the seat, you know? Eldian Vibes looking out for you, my boy. <laughs> if men will agree that they will always sit down to urinate. Well, Hell no, bro. Make men sit down to <laughs> Are you pee. crazy? How could we play sink the boat? What about us loggers? Hard-working men who like to stand up after they've taken a poo and then turn around and cut their poo in half with their urine. <laughs> you shit and then take I'm a piss? Sorry, but That's if we crazy. Don't the treating us like children, we might have to give up being able to pee our feces in half. For generations, my pappy taught me logging, and his pappy for him. Yeah, I think we gotta just live with the TSA. Yeah. 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 Bro, really? Ah, These kids are getting finessed. The the ah. We'll hit him with a class action lawsuit tomorrow. We'll need all your friends and family to sign a petition and kick in about 50 bucks each. What? Hang in there, Clyde. When are you guys going to catch on? To make the world a safer place. Oh, this guy again? Captain Creep. Just don't go on, like, children. I mean, don't go on anyone, but children is just too far, bro. They always have to hire the most super creepy dude, didn't it? <laughs> Chill. Oh, this is a disgrace. <laughs> Whose baby is that, bro? No. Oh! Security breach! <laughs> Ooh! He's still doing his job. Shock and outrage ensued after an unknown terrorist managed to get through TSA security terrorist? with a gun and a baby, leaving the toilet seat up. What good is the TSA if they aren't protecting us? Why have we given up freedom if terrorists can take a hostage in a bathroom with a baby and a gun on the toilet? It is time for a sue-ons. Yeah! 
Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck is a sewer? You guys are gonna go broke. Uh, experts have successfully summoned the ghost of toilet inventor Sir John Harrington. They did it? Now that the spirit has crossed over from the dead, lawyers are gonna try and sue him. Sir Thomas Harrington, your extreme negligence has oh. cost taxpayers millions! No! Huh? No! Oh, it's the guy doing the voice. Oh. <laughs> they got me there. without question. Appear before this court, Harrington. Never. Uh, Where's Cla Claire's mom? This lawyer is a fraud. He has been swindling you and your friends for your money. Fuck me, it's a ghost. <laughs> you can't sue the dead, Clyde. Don't try and blame mommy's death on anything but your failure to do something I asked you time and time again to do. It's your fault. I am oh, sick and here, tired though. of all this nonsense. You're all using my toilet invention the wrong oh, way. Oh, his butt is his way. When you have to sit and take a Sir Harrington, you're supposed to be facing this way. So you can use the little shelf for your books and your quill and your ink. Aha! I told you you should own it that way. I told you. Why would I design it? Isn't so that, that when true you're though? Just taking a Sir Harrington. Yeah, but. But if you sit on it that way, you gotta take your pants all the way off. <laughs> of course! Why do you think I designed toilet rooms with a laundry hole? That's what that hole is for? Oh my days. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's all you freaky dudes in here, isn't it? Oh my word. That's true, I didn't think about you having to take your thing all the way off. Your trousers. And, and clouds are like, bro. Oh, leave me alone, I'm serious. This Sorry. guy's got some saber tooth nails, bro. How often are you cutting them? That's <laughs> not what I said. Oh look, yeah, well, Kuna I'm just glad that stupid TSA crap is over with. Glad. Oh thank goodness. Glad you're there. Hello. Dude, I love having to take off all your trousers, man. That is dead. <laughs> oh. Oh my days. Bro, what the hell? Clyde just said effort, bro. Hey, if you dead, you're dead, bro. You ain't gonna be a ghost and come lecture me. Whilst you're dead, oh my day. He literally flipped up his mom. He's like, screw you, I don't care. That's crazy. Dude. <clears throat> I mean, the thing is, this is not going to obviously start having me. And I don't imagine you guys are going to start sitting on the toilet seat the way Butters does. Even though I imagine some of you guys probably already do that. Listen, I'm not judging. I'm just saying that I'm not going to start doing that. Imagine having to take your trousers all the way off. And then do it. You'd probably do that only if you're going to have a shower straight afterwards. That makes sense. But for you... <laughs> okay, I'm not going to have a toilet lecture here, right? I just realized what I was about to do. But that was dope. Dope episode. I really, really, really enjoyed that. Didn't want Clyde's mom to die. Um, but I guess she's dead. It is what it is. Wait, the kids pretty much got robbed for the cash. And they didn't get it back. That guy's a true con artist, man. He got away with it. Fair play. Hey, listen, I got to clap for him, man. Fair play, bro. I don't condone it, but he got the bag still. But, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like and sub, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.